Hello there everybody, my name is Coach Shardongster Born, but built for theme parks and welcome to a theme park newsroom update where today we're going to be discussing Adventureland Iowa. Now this is a park over in the United States and of course they're going to be adding the brand new SNS 40 free spin coaster for the 2021 season known as Dragon Slayer. Now what we have for you today is a little construction update because track has gone up, up, up. And of course, in technical terms, we know that as vertical. So before we get started, guys, uh, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video and do all that brilliant stuff that you guys do week in and week out on this channel. You love the channel just as much as I love making these videos for you guys. Um, tomorrow, we do have an exciting video because I'm going to be reacting to your responses and your voting count towards that poll that I put up a few days ago about Thorpe Park's next coaster removal. So that video will be coming out tomorrow. I'm pre-recording it today, ready for tomorrow. And uh, I can't wait to release that video because I'm pretty sure you guys will be very excited to see what my reactions are to your uh, to, to the poll, should we say. And I'm gonna put out a, a, a second poll, the poll two, on that day. So you're gonna see a new poll in the community and you're also gonna see uh, a brand new uh, video about the reaction to the first poll, which will, and the, the second poll will be released when that video goes up. So you'll know when the second poll goes up. And for now, let's get into talking about this construction update first of all. We do have some pre recorded videos coming as well uh, in the future, so stay tuned for those. But let's talk about Adventureland and Dragon Slayer because track has gone vertical. So this image was, of course, from Reddit. I don't know who posted it on Reddit, but if you're watching this, credit goes to you 100% for the image. Um, you know, it's your image. You know, you did very well with the quality of the image, by the way. And uh, as you can see, the track has gone vertical. Now, of course, um, you know, as you can already see, you can see in the distance there, above the, the wooden coaster, and you've got Monster in the background, the Ghost of Infinity, and there's some nice red track going up vertically. That will be, I believe from the looks of it, the lift hill, or it could be the other side of the coaster. I think it's, uh, but from the looks of it, it looks very much like it's the uh, the upward incline, the lift hill, shall we say, for the uh, for the roller coaster. Um, and, you know, obviously we, we've known for, for months about this coaster. We know this area is going to be just the the old Dragon's uh, coaster station. Because, of course, if you guys didn't know, this is replacing the old Dragon roller coaster, which is their Hopkins Looper, which they closed in 2019 after 29 years of operation, nearly. So, uh, 28 years, technically. Um, but Dragon's is a Hopkins Looper. Um, and, you know, this obviously this was removed for the coaster and of course it is just the station area that will be used for the 40 free spin the rest of the space of the layout will probably be used for future product, uh, projects in my opinion I think they're going to try and expand in the rest of that area with maybe some more new attractions uh, but as, as you can already see on your screen the, the, the construction began the vertical is uh, the vertical track has gone up and um, you know I think it will only be I think I'm expecting probably a winter time but around November December by the time that you know this finishes construction so there we go that is a look then at the construction of dragon slayer now of course i've shared my thoughts on this for a very long time and i've always said this looks like a very good roller coaster i think this is a great coaster for the park it's a great compact thrill coaster a 40 free spin is perfect for adventureland a lot of people were disappointed that it didn't go for something more outstretched but i think with the the look of the rest of the layout and the potential for what other attractions they could add in the rest of the spaces that the dragon used to reside in. I think this is a smart move. I think this is a smart move for future expansion. I think this is a very smart move because if you use the rest of that site for one coaster, then, you know, if you want to build some more attractions, but the only other site is where the dragon was, you know, where would you put it? You couldn't. As much as you'd like to really add a different attraction, whether it was flat rides, whether it was another coaster that was compact and thrilling, um, or a family coaster, or even a kids coaster. So, for us, in terms of a long-term strategy move, this was clever to build a free spin in just the station area and leave the rest of it open. Really, the rest of the area open for for expansion and renovation. So, on the long-term side of things, very clever move. And I think that a 40 free spin, like I said, is a very, very good choice of coaster 
because, you know, first of all, the name Dragon Slayer, like I said in the past, relates very heavily to the old Dragon Coaster it's been replaced by. Um, you know, and it's it relates to the theme of the name of the old coaster. And the 40 free spin is the right move to go for as well, because I think that it's a good compact thrill coaster. It's a different style seating arrangement, which is perfect for Adventureland's market. And, you know, I think we're looking here at a very, very good attraction. So, from the latest construction, again, I don't know who you are on Reddit, but if you put it up there, massive shout out, credit goes to you for the image. And, um, you know, it's, it's very exciting watching that construction. So, hopefully we get some more construction updates uh, within the next few weeks, and we get to post them here on the channel. Uh, but for now, thank you very, very much for watching this little construction update from Adventureland New Dragon Slayer Roller Coaster for 2021. Uh, so like I said, I'm expecting like a winter time to be the whole track completion and then hopefully testing around the January February mark ready for a spring opening maybe uh, So that's my sort of early predictions in terms of finishing of construction testing and the operating of the coaster So thank you very much. Make sure you like comment subscribe click the notification bell so you never miss a YouTube video And for now guys, my name is Coaster Shell Coop, living the coast alive and I'll see you guys in the next video very very soon Take care guys. Have an awesome day